Over the years, I've gotten tons of letters and emails from people all around the world asking me some of the most strange and outrageous questions I've ever heard in my life. So, I decided to answer you guys back with this little segment I like to call Dear John. Check it out. Dear John, Dear John, Dear John, John Ali. Dear John, Dear John, Dear John, can I ask you a question? Dear John, Dear John, Dear John, John Ali. Dear John, who cuts your hair? Actually, nobody. Because for the rest of the year, I'm not getting my hair cut at all. So, I guess no one. Dear Juan, or John, I'm new to LA. Tell me, how is it that you stayed so busy in a city where mediocrity is the norm? Honestly, man, I just keep grinding. I mean, I got a, a great support system of friends and family that keep me grounded. And uh, it's because of them I'm able to continue to pursue what I want to pursue, my dream. So I just don't let nothing get in my way. I stay grinding hard. I'm on a 25 hour a day grind and it ain't even 25 hours in a day. So there's your answer. Dear John, what are hot dogs made out of? Look, I don't know what hot dogs are made of, but girl, that's the second question you didn't ask me about some food. Get back to doing your cute little vlogs about working out and stop talking about damn food. Y'all can check Stephanie out on her own channel. I'll leave the link down below. Shameless plug, you owe me. Dear Judd, I want to know, why do you pick the entertainment that you pick? To be honest, this was something I always wanted to do as a kid. And I knew when I grew up, I was going to make it happen with this career. Or I was going to die trying. So I was either going to be an actor or die trying. That's the title of my new album. Shout out to 50. Dear John, how long did it take you to get in the game? How did I get in the game? Well, honestly, man, this is kind of similar to a question I've already answered. Um, but I'm assuming you're talking about either the acting or the rapping game. Acting was something, I guess, has just been in my heart from day one. Um, I, I did my first play when I was, like, in elementary school. And uh, it was Oliver's Twist, and I played Artful Dodger. Uh, then, you know, play after play, I did some stuff. And in New York, I was um, doing background work. Did background work on the Cosby Show on New York Undercover. Decided to move to LA, and and. That's, that's it, man. I went to the high school. I went to, like, I went to school. I went to the original fame school, the original um, high school of performing arts. Uh, but it was called A. Philip Randolph. And, and then I took, I had took some classes. And, I, man, I've just been doing this for a long time, man. I don't even want to bore you. As far as the rap game, man, I was always nice. <laughs> and I've always felt like I've been in the game of hip-hop. But I guess in 91 was officially when I signed a contract and deal with, with Mercury Records. So I guess 91 would be the official time that I got in the hip hop game. Even though I had been rhyming forever. So there's your answer, man. Okay, now the question of the week for my man, Chuck BJJ2000. Remember, leave your answer to his comment down below. This has been Dear John, and I'm going to see y'all next week. Take it away, Chuck. My question of the day is, if you happen to win the lottery, what would you do first? Maybe the second or third? Shoot, hell. What the hell would you do? Dear John, dear John, dear John, can I ask you a question?